Perhaps you've seen these videos online. Some especially stunning aurora have been dazzling YouTube viewers these past two weeks. It's as if space is painting us a beautiful picture. Or just showing off. We talked to our resident space expert, Dr. Ian O'Neill, to find out how these are created, where you can find them, and why now. Basically, the sun's surface is currently going through quite a lot of magnetic activity because we're approaching solar maximum, which is part of the 11-year cycle. Very natural cycle, there's nothing scary about it, and we're approaching the maximum activity, and that's going to happen in about 2013. The sun's kicked into high gear, causing enormous eruptions of solar wind and plasma that are aimed right at us. It impacted our magnetosphere, that's the magnetic shield that surrounds our entire planet. Now, if the conditions are right, and when this magnetic bubble, this coronal mass ejection hits, our magnetosphere in a certain way, it can inject solar plasma into our magnetosphere and that funnels into the polar regions. And when these plasma, these are basically um, mainly protons, high energy protons, when they hit our atmosphere, they generate light. And when each one hits, you get this, this fantastic aurora. These aurora are being seen in northern latitudes, like in Sweden, and near southern latitudes, like in New Zealand. But can they ever be seen away from the poles, say like the Midwest? It is possible. It depends on the ferocity of the solar storm. And it has happened in the past, apparently back in the mid 1800s, um, the Carrington flare event. It was the most historic solar flare in that it was huge. I mean, it was, it was uh, record breaking. It was actually observed during daytime and the coronal mass ejection only took a few hours to hit Earth. Apparently that, that produced aurora at very, very low latitudes and, and at night in you know, like the Midwest, people could read their newspapers at night because it was just that bright. So it is possible, it's just extremely rare. No one can actually predict space weather daily. Hop online here to see how likely a big aurora is near you. For Discovery News, I'm Martin Berman and that's Aurora Borealis and Australis Explained. Thank you.